I'm Julie Collins, a paint technique specialist. I've had several books published on stenciling, painting furniture, doing up your old junk. I also worked on the restoration teams at the Royal Albert Hall and I presented programmes on television doing makeovers and interior design. So I hope you join me for my videos and enjoy all the different projects we're going to go through. Today's project is painting this painting of a silver birch forest. The trees are painted in leaf, gilding leaf. So gilders would have real gold or metal, which is called slag, which is the cheaper version. This is the variegated leaf that gives you the burnt effect and the effect of the silver birch bark. And this is your silver. You buy a book of it, it's pretty reasonable. So these are the rest of the materials you need for this project. Three canvases, 20 by 50. I'm going to do three vertical canvases this time. Or just pick a canvas of your size, or you can split this way. Some match pots for your glaze and your base colour. Acrylic scumble glaze to mix your glaze. A brush to apply your paint. You need to paint a base coat onto the canvases. And you need two brushes. One to apply the glue for the leaf and the other one a soft brush to dust off your leaf. And then we can start. Painting the base coats on, I use a glass just to dip my brush in, just to keep the paint nice and movable, especially for the first coat. And then just dip into match pot or look into the house, see if there's any paint you've got there that you've got left over from other projects. And we're just gonna paint it on in crisscross strokes get it nice and smooth and we'll need to do two coats of this leave them to dry in between pick your canvas up make sure you've got no loaded edges on the side feathering it off you can get paint build up around the edges Okay, just feather that off, make sure there's no lumpy bits, and we're going to paint all three canvases the same. We're going to put our glaze on now for the colour washing background, which is the effect you can see here in between the trees that gives you the contrast of light and dark shade. So it's acrylic scumble, it's an open sticky medium, which means we can work it for a long time, but it takes longer to go off. And the thing with glaze is that it's a translucent colour. So I'm going to pick up my nutmeg and mix in some of my nutmeg with the glaze. I like nutmeg for the background, but have a look in your house. Look at your colour schemes and maybe you want to have a different background. Um, it's better to have it too light than too dark because we can layer, colour one layer on top of another as it's translucent. So don't worry about your first coats. Okay, as I said, I like to use putty nylon brushes. They've got very um, soft bristles. You're just gonna dip your brush into the glaze and stab on some different strokes. And then work it in crisscross strokes over the canvas. That's what gives us our light and shade contrast. And this is the same technique that we would be using for a color wash. Remember, you've got to pay attention to your edges again. So make sure you feather them off and go around the sides. Okay, coming up higher, so we want to have our three canvases the same. Have them side by side. I do a horizontal brushy stroke, which feels like the skyline. And then we know where we're painting up to. stab the brush okay you put your base coat of your wash on and then just make sure you go all around the side to the same technique leave it to dry and we'll come back to our second coat second glaze coat so I poured some glaze into the lid of my paint and I've mixed the nutmeg into there because we need very little for this next stage so just pure nutmeg in here and then same principles. I'm going to use my smaller brush now. And we're just going to do the, the bottom third of the painting. I put all three canvases together so that we can work to the same 
place and just as before little dabs of the paint and then work it away in crisscross strokes if you want to leave some lines in or some little stipples looks really good like plants in the forest long grass remember you can't overwork it put a little stipple in i'm going to take it up just a little bit higher at the end go around the frame and so there's our contrast darker at the bottom middle section and the top now we leave this to dry and then I'll show you how to do the glue size and put the leaf on and your painting's done next step making our trees our forest so we have perspective we're going to put smaller thinner shorter trees at the back and the longer, thicker trees at the front. So I've already prepped these two canvases. I'm gonna look where I put the trees on those. And then we're just going to draw a very faint line with the pencil and the ruler. Where we're going to put our trees. A longer one there. Okay, I'm gonna do another shorter one here in between them. Little short one here. And let's put a longer one this side. Keep in mind distance from the edge of the canvas. That's what the ruler's there to help you with. Okay, so we're going to keep our ruler. We're going to have a square brush. And then we have the acrylic size. I pour some into the lid and then that stops it spilling. So this is an acrylic glue for leaf and gilding. It has a going off sticky time. So it goes on milky and then you'll be able to touch it. It's tacky and then it's ready for you to put the leaf on. So just be careful you don't spill any on the canvas. I'm gonna just take it off the back of the brush. Okay, put your ruler down where your pencil lines are and just make a nice square line down the inside of the ruler. Okay, so because it's glue, don't overwork it too much, but you don't want any thick blobby bits. Okay, that's all we do. Just continue with your trees, drawing down the canvas. Remember, thinner at the back, so you're going to do a side brush on, thicker trees at the front. Starting the leaf, just check with your fingertip that the glue is tacky. We can always put some glue on the side or bits that don't have any after, but you can't put the glue on top of the leaf, okay? This is a, the variegated leaf that's burnt, that looks like the silver birch bark, and it's a transfer leaf. So as you can see, it's stuck onto the tissue paper. This is much easier to use than a, than a, a floating loose leaf. So try and get this if you can. Okay, I'm going to face it down towards the canvas. Look where my glue is. And then with a nice bristle brush and your thumb, just press it down. So we want a distressed look like that. So we look like tree bark. And then we're going to work up the glue. Don't brush this off now, it's going to stick everywhere you've got glue, okay? So working up, you can see where these jaggy bits are, they look really good. So just put those on your bark and then we can fill them in with silver or different colours. And we just continue like this, every 
where we've painted the glue for our tree bark. At the end, we'll dust these pieces off or stick them down to places where there is glue but the leaf didn't take. Okay, so these are the trees. I've put some silver on and I've left it distressed so that we can put in some of our variegated leaf with the silver and just get that effect of the tree bark. Peel it off, stick it down, pull it over where the glue is. At the end we'll blow it off and dust it off and we can tidy up the edges with a scalpel. Good luck! Last step, we're going to put some shadows for the trees, give the effect of sunlight coming through and making our painting more 3D. So take your nutmeg, your dark colour, just dip some into the top of your glaze so you have that workable medium and then we're just going to go across on a diagonal line like this and then smudge it with your finger. So we're going to go around the tree and down on the diagonal line, think of sunlight coming through a forest and smudge it with your finger, this tree here, a little bit of the dark brown, a little bit of the glaze so you have that sticky workable medium coming down make sure all lines are in the same direction, smudge it out with your finger, you're going to do that to all your trees and your masterpiece is finished.